Hellsbar Dam in southeast Tennessee is known as one of the most haunted dams, if not the most haunted dam in America. Uh, the thing that's interesting about this location is it's not that far away from South Pittsburgh Hospital that we just went to a few months back, which is known as the most haunted hospital in America, uh, seen on Paranormal Witness. It just goes to show that there's something going on with the land um, you know, even the chief of the Cherokee, Dragon Canoe, said it's a cursed land, and um, he didn't say that they had put a curse on it. He said it was actually there before the Cherokee showed up. Um, now, some people attribute the hauntings also to um, flooded graves, flooded graveyards um, throughout the valley that the dam, you know, caused uh, being put in place. The type of hauntings that have been reported at Hell's Bar Dam until uh, hearing kids laughing, um, seeing shadow figures, seeing orbs, uh, with people with thermal imaging cameras being able to get uh, children sized figures. Um, and the thing that's interesting about that is the kids used to go through this dam to go home um, on the other side of the river from school. So. I don't know if that'd be familiar spirit, uh, residual haunting, um, <laughs> demon, ghost, human spirit, but we're just here to shine a light on it. We're here to say, hey, this stuff is real. And if you come looking for it, just make sure you got protection going on, that you're prayed up. You know, that's something our team does before we go into places like this. Because if you're walking in the light, <laughs> darkness is afraid of you.
Yeah. So, what was your name? Well, my name is Jonathan Tucker. Jonathan Tucker. What's, what did you say happened here at Hell's Bar, man? We were over here working on this ship, and uh, we were pulling two motors out of them. I we had an 18-foot boom. Mm -hmm. It was moving at all, and then all of a sudden, within a split second, he had flipped over and smacked his head and his elbow on top of him. The and, boom in the cylinders. and you said nothing was moving. Nothing he wasn't was, moving. No, the ship was pulled both sides tight and everything. And it just something grabbed him and flipped him. You think? Yeah, if something just like pushed him as hard as it could, that would be what it was. That's crazy. And you don't believe in none of that stuff, man. So no, that's no, yeah. it, no, not. But here recently, it's kind of been a little different. So we're here at uh, Hell's Bar Dam today, exploring. Wanted us to come up and scuba dive the first uh, lower half of the dam, uh, which has been flooded. So this is um, what people say is it's it's haunted, right, Chet? Yep. And it was place. on what what show was that? Do you remember? It was on Ghost Hunters, and I believe it was on Ghost Adventures, and I think the History Channel too. Okay, and and what they they saw like a shadow person, uh, and the locker slammed or something. Yep. So that's at the very end of the dam. Um, that you'll see uh, is where that creature or that spirit was that hung out there, but. Um, so this uh, this is pretty exciting, you know. I don't I don't think it'll be too risky, but you never know when when you're diving. Uh, you always got to have a plan, and uh, especially with a uh, enclosed environment, uh, that's that's can be risky. So you gotta you gotta really plan it out well. But it should be fun. And uh, <laughs> there's a famous Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're gonna have fun today, guys. We're gonna go in and. See if we see any ghosts that we can uh, scare off, and uh, should be a great time. So yeah, <laughs> all right. John, you excited to scuba dive, man? Oh yeah. All right, cool. Well, all right, guys, let's get in there and see what we can find. He said it was a cursed limb. He never put a curse on it, uh -huh. actually. He said it was cursed limb because of so much bloodshed, so much fighting over the limb. Yeah. So we kind of think, you know, maybe there is somewhat of a curse. That's cracking. Okay. So Jeff's showing us how the dam is cracking. He said they've had to repair it. Numerous times, and once yeah, they repair it, they, I mean, they, they actually say it. You can see this one right here with that they repaired. Yeah, oh, there's okay. one. Yeah. And they say it started from day one. Oh, wow. They built it. Yeah.
enough to go down. Water visibility is horrible though. But let's see what we see. go through and that's where we came oh well wow. anyway we're coming up oh I'm sailing. I'm sailing. I'm good that tank about to hit no you're good you're good, good. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So while we were down there, we didn't really see much activity. Uh, but once we got out of the water, uh, we must have started up a commotion uh, with the spirits at the dam because uh, it seemed like we had one thing after another happen once we got out of the water. That one's the ghost ship. You can't really see it. Cool boat here. Coming up on it. Oh my gosh, there's someone still Fire on the boat. Baby. Come aboard. We've it's got a boat. To find. Uh, and walking back, apparently uh, Chad and his girlfriend actually caught something. Um, there's a wheel and a turbine moving by itself. We can't explain it, and I'll show you uh, what's coming up. So, this is, um, 
I'm videoing it. So I'm not sure where the mechanism is for this the water turning. There's no power. There's no power. There's no power. Oh, I just got a weird sensation on my neck. That was crazy feeling. Oh. Was that turning a minute ago? And uh, he said in this room that we're in right now, it's kind of the middle of the dam. He says you'll see sometimes like shadow figures moving back and forth and different. Chad just saw a figure on his phone and he's, let's see if it's still here. It is. Sit up there, here, let me turn off the... Yeah, that's exactly where um, the ghost hunters show, right? Yeah, well, we'll see it, it, the same it come from right there, that area, uh -huh. and went back across, like to the second window. You can see it, but that's... There right. it is, see the dark? That's right, of what you normally would see up in there. So, yeah, yeah that's... oh, there he is, glowing. And that's what they'll do, they'll stand there and just watch it. Look. Right there. Yeah, that's... There's our good contrast. See the red? Okay, everyone, we're checking it out. So, right beside this door, that's where it was at. Right here, Chad? Okay, so it's right here is where it's at. Very, uh, they feel cold almost, uh, was the same body temperature as me, you know. So there's no way that was the wall, and that's all wooden, cold. So there's definitely something that hangs out around this place. I don't know what it is exactly and, and, or why. That's cool that we got it on the thermal camera though. This dam, back when it was in operation, went all the way across the river and when kids would get out of school they would walk through this dam and they report hearing kids laughing they report uh one kid saying uh has anyone seen my mom <laughs> that's and this is over by the stairs area hey, Chad, what were you saying that we weren't picking up anything over here it also stops so now it's like making Hear that? It was not reading anything, and now it's getting more static, Chad. Yeah, that's a bit static. It made some weird screaming noise a second ago. <laughs> you heard it. Now, Chad, you usually don't care for, like, you don't believe stuff like this really, do you? No. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird, huh? I just wanted to see the inside of this place. Yeah.
Jonathan, or what do you think you heard? Or? I, it sounded like I heard uh, little kids laughing. I don't know if I did just my mind playing tricks on me, but it sounded pretty audible. And I thought maybe outside of the building, but you wouldn't have been able to hear that inside here. Yeah. Oh, for real. Follow me now. Hey, Jeff. Hey, buddy. Hey, y'all got anything to do tonight? Uh, not really. Well, I'm still working. Y'all want to hang with us for our open ghost hunt? Sure. And y'all can see how things go with the ghost hunting. Yeah. Are you getting readings? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so you're right there. It'll do it, it'll do it again. It keeps running in now. And what, what does that mean? Does that mean something's nearby? Uh, yeah, more or less electromagnetic field energy. Because they believe spirits give it off. So guys, this is um, a device that Jeff set out. Usually when it goes off, it means there's a spirit nearby. And apparently it don't like hanging around me. <laughs> so I scared it off. Hey Dave, have you seen you got any hits or anything? Uh, I'm getting ready to review right now. Okay. Uh, all my ghost experience started when I was in the military. Um, I had a, a, an issue with my kidneys. Um, and I ended up being hospitalized. I spent two days in the hospital and one night, I'd say probably about two o'clock in the morning, I got up to go to the bathroom. Everything seemed normal. Took my IV, drug it to the bathroom, went to the bathroom. But when I came out of the bathroom, I no longer had my IV with me. And that's when I noticed that I was still laying in the bed. And at this point, I started to get the twinge in the back of my head going, wait a minute, what's going on? Is this a dream? And the next thing I know, I start hearing alarm bells going off and doctors and nurses all come rushing into the, the room. And at this point, they start performing CPR. And before I know it, I sit up in the hospital bed and take a big gasping breath. And at that point, I realized I must have passed on for a moment. And the doctors and nurses all confirmed that yes, I was for about two minutes dead. And they had revived me at that point. And from then on, I tend to feel things a lot more intensely than I used to. Uh, I notice things that I never used to notice before. And it's brought me to the point where I want to find out what actually happens when you do die. Uh, are we left behind? Do we move on somewhere? Those are the questions that I want answered. And to me, this is a way to do it. Right there. Okay, so he's directly in front of it now. Or she. Right up there is the lockers that Aaron was at and they caught the shadow figure on the thermal image. Notice this scene coming up, the, uh, the EVP that we got. Uh, it's almost like a chanting. Um, some people think it could be Indian chanting spirits, or it almost sounds like children playing. But uh, here, let's and see what you think. Hey guys, so that was that number one hit single, Ghost Chanting at Hell's Bar Dam. No, but seriously guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Um, 
you know, that was definitely not going on while we were there recording. Um, all we could hear was Jeff talking and uh, got home and that was the sound uh, that we had on our audio from where we videoed. So anyways, kind of cool, very creepy, but uh, the spirit realm is very real, guys. And here it is one more time with the audio cleaned up uh, that my friend Cody Cash did for me. And uh, here it is, guys. So we're in the uh, tunnel underneath the dam right now. And um, these go back quite a ways. I mean, they're pretty intricate. On the hills far. Well, we were leaving a minute ago, and we heard somebody following us. And we decided, decided to come back down here by myself, see what I can find out. You said you were leaving? Yeah, we were walking that way, and we could hear footsteps behind us. And then I turned around and told her, I was like, stay here, I'm going to go out down there by myself and see what happens. And as soon as you guys came up, I just heard footsteps. Then you guys walked up. Sorry. No, no, that's good. You guys, that's what I told him. I was like, you're trapped now. Yeah. Uh, David was shooting with an infrared camera. Um, and right after we walked back from the hallway, uh, he was able to capture this image coming up. And right after that, we're going to be showing a video that Jeff and Vicky got in the same tunnel of a, um, another shadow being with their infrared camera. And when you're watching that video, take note that there is no lights in there. <laughs> it's just uh, nothing but pitch black and there should be no shadows at all. So here's the uh, image David captured. Jeff and Vicky capture another shadow uh, spirit in the same tunnels underneath the dam.
run the ghost tours for the most haunted hospital in Tennessee and the most haunted dam in Tennessee. And, I, you know, honestly to me, that's America. You know, who else has a haunted dam? Who else has a haunted <laughs> hospital? And, uh, you know, the, the, both places have activity. And, uh, you know, as the hospital, you can feel the atmosphere is very dark. And you, you, she keeps seeing spirits through there. And, you know, over here with Jeff, last time I was here, we saw like a childlike spirit, and uh, and we got that on the thermal camera. So Jeff, what uh, what kind of things have you seen here? I've seen everything from full body apparitions, shadow figures. I've heard voices, mm -hmm. uh, and I can even back up some of the claims from Stacy's place at the hospital. Oh yeah, he's I've been, been there. there. I've been there. You've been there, yeah. Yes. So you, and I've seen a shadow figure that she's got a picture of, one with the red yes, eyes. Yes, yes. I've seen it and uh, actually got confronted by the one in the very bottom. Oh, Jimmy, really? Jimmy? Yeah. yeah, what happened with that? Uh, well, I was there and it was a big, I was just talking to Marty about it. It's like a big pressure come up in my face. Oh, that happened Friday night to somebody. Yeah, and to it was. a guy from Ghost Hunt Weekends. Oh, really? Morning. Yes, it rushed and, him in the hallway, yeah, it sure did. Yeah, and it just come right out. And then I heard a big boom and I got angry. Oh yeah. Go back. yeah. So it was like a rage came over yeah. you. Huh. Yeah, because I mean it was whatever. You're not the first one to say that. Well, that's good. No, that's Yeah, you, I remember so back she told me that, yeah, if you, when yeah. I was there that yeah. someone dealt with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they actually busted the their buddy's head in the window or the window something, of right? The nursery, yes. Yeah. 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 So that's oh, is that where that? Yeah, I think that's oh, okay. where it came from. Sure was. Yeah, I've seen that too. Oh, yeah. And yeah, and the good thing about us is we're what ten miles apart, mm -hmm. work together, and we support each other. Otherwise, I wouldn't be down here today. Exactly. But you know, it's you have to work together in this field. You do. The paranormal field is very, very tight. Mm -hmm. You know, and and I'll even go so far as to say it's even closer than the church is. Oh yeah. They are yeah. a very tight community. Yeah. And when something that. happens at one place, it doesn't take long to spread around to everybody else. Oh yeah. You yeah. have so, to help each other out and you plus you have to watch each other's back. So mm -hmm. we got a bad apple, I have to let her know. Yeah. I was excited to see Stacy here and uh, you know, always glad to see Jeff, you know, two good friends here. Uh, and to me that just I said, Stacy, we got to interview you. <laughs> Jeff, get over here. We're going to talk to you too. And so you just so, never know who's going to show up on your camera, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. But it's it's uh, I'm you know glad to always see you guys and hang out. And you guys are always too kind to us for letting us come come to your places. And oh, anytime. Film and you know you're fun. Not everybody gets to do this. We don't always let everybody in, but you're fun. Uh, is that it? Yeah. So be fun. That's yeah. the key. Okay. Yeah. Be fun and uh, well, be respect. Be respect. Yeah, I always try to make friends with everyone. So. Yeah. You know, you can't come in with a bad attitude. No. Oh, but we've dealt with that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. More than once. <laughs> Thank you, Tennessee. We will. <laughs> going after them? Do what now? You going after the ghosts? Yeah, I got to go after them. Yeah. All right, good luck. Going to try to catch a few. I hope you see a big one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll send them out here to you if we find one. Uh, <laughs> I'll see if you can fish for me. <laughs> Did he look up? Yeah, they're like, he went, oh crap, but he's looking <laughs> Did it scare him? We were just scaring the civilians outside. <laughs> yeah, the lights shining on them. We turned our headlamps on and stood in the window. No one got us in there. Just, oh, just, hey, look, everybody else. <laughs> like, oh, got candy, candy. There's a piece of candy. There's a piece of candy. There's and a piece right there. There's a pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> and a piece of candy. Yeah, see the candy? So, so we got hey. breaker boxes for this whole upstairs part, I would assume. Let's see what's inside. Da -da -da. Nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> Gosh, my lips. What's your lap? Oh, man. Thanks for playing. Sorry. You've got to see this. you got to see this. Do you see it, Ryan? Yeah. Do you see it, Ryan? Yeah. Do you well, see it? I see it? it. Do you see it? Do you see a spirit? Yeah! It's free hay rods! Don't you want to hay rod? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Big 